And now for the fifth installment of Fat Loss Facts. Let's look at veggies. Veggies is one of the best ways to increase the amount of bulk in your stomach, meaning that you'll feel a little bit fuller without having excess calories. Much of the, the produce, the veggies specifically, have a lot more fiber in them, have a lot more water content, tend to take up more space in your stomach. And because of this, they'll help you not to feel hungry and hence, if you're in a calorie deficit, you're looking for fat loss, it is your friend to be eating more whole foods, more um, of the produce per se. Now, along with the eating more vegetables, or whole foods and all the other things that we've talked about already, you wanna consider eating whenever you want. There's no magic time. You don't have to eat before a certain time or after a certain time. You don't have to say, oh, I, I, can't, I don't need to eat all the calories at night because I don't need that energy. The truth is, it's all, always at the end of the day, the total amount of calories. So if you were to say you need 2000 calories in a day, that's use a, a round number. If you were to eat 2000 calories at 6 p.m., at 12 p.m., at 8 a.m., and that's all you had all day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect you in the least bit. Now in a future video, I will talk about how carbs play into this and the type of exercise you're doing might influence you into deciding to have more food throughout the day. But I wanna say, again, very clearly, it doesn't matter when you eat in a day. You can eat at any time, any amount of your total amount, any percentage of your total amount. So if you wanna have only two meals, or one meal, or three meals, or seven meals, as long as each one of those caloric values add up to what you're supposed to be having in that day, depending on your goal. Of course, if it's calorie uh, deficit for fat loss, then you don't wanna supersede that uh, total amount, but if you can have it at any point of the day. That's the beauty about this. And that's why sometimes calorie intermittent fasting works is because you bunch up calories a little bit later in the day and you feel you don't feel like you're starving yourself you don't feel like you're eating less than you normally do although you've skipped a meal and saved all those calories that you could have had originally and finally alcohol i think this is a really big thing alcohol if your body's ingesting alcohol it's trying to metabolize that first it's gonna stop using any other fuel source and get rid of it because technically alcohol is a toxin. The toxin is why you have all of these different effects, you know, the, 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 the spinning, the, the vomiting perhaps, the nausea, the buzz, if, if you wanna call it that, all the, the symptoms, maybe the courage that you get, uh, the, whatever it might be, the, the dulling of, the, of, of mood decreasing all this is because the toxin is acting on your body and these are the side effects your body must get rid of the toxin as quickly as it can so it actually halts using everything else now that could be good that could be bad I, i'm probably a net negative if you literally look at it but if you fit in within your calories if you're having you know tequila shots for example and they're 100 calories per shot you could technically eat just you know 10, 20 shots at 100 calories, and that's all you can have in the day. Now, would I recommend that for your health? Absolutely not, that's not the best case. But technically speaking, if you were to do that, you would technically lose weight. But we're not here to try to put weight and fat loss in, in front of health. You wanna gain both, right? So that's why you're not gonna have the recommendation to have all alcohol. Now, again, as long as you're in a calorie deficit and you enjoy a glass of wine and glass of scotch or whatever you might wanna be doing, as long as it's in that calorie balance, you're going to be fine. But remember, your body's not gonna use any other energy source until it's got rid of whatever the amount of calories are in that alcohol. So be safe out there. Remember, those are three more tips fat to feel less hungry when you're in a fat loss phase.